Hi, in this tutorial we're going to show you how to add an event in the Event Registration Pro extension for Joomla 2.5. So once you're logged into the back end, you can go to Components, Event Registration Pro, you can go to Events here, or if you go to the Control Panel, you can simply click on the Event Manager here. As you see, we have no events. We've already set up our location, our registration form, and our event categories. You have to have these three items already created before you can create an event. And the reason for that is when you create an event, you get to select which registration form you're going to use, where the location is at of the event, and which category you want to put it in. So that's why you have to have those three filled out ahead of time. So we're just going to click New. And since our category was Joomla Day events, let's do a uh, Joomla Day event here. We'll just call this Joomla Day Chicago. And we'll do it for 2013. And let's see, we usually have Joomla Day Chicago in August. Usually it's the Friday and Saturday second day. So I'm just going to choose those really quick. For, now this is a two-day event. So I chose Friday and Saturday. And opening time is 8 a.m. So we're going to choose 8 a.m. And for, say, 4 p.m. is when it's going to close. So we'll do 1,600 hours. It is military time, just like it says here, hour, hour, minute, minute. Max attendance is how many people are you going to allow to register for the event as a whole? Uh, we can actually say 100 people for this. Okay. Now, I've already got some copied text, some dummy lipsum text that we'll paste in here. And I'll copy that, put some extra text in here for the short description. Now, you can use images in these, just like any other WYSIWYG area, it's content. And also our terms and conditions, every single event has a terms and conditions so you can have different terms and conditions for different events okay now we got those three filled out now we're gonna look at the parameters on the right side registration access we're gonna want the public to be able to register to the event and we're gonna want the public to view the event now these two you might see say they're a little redundant but say we only wanted the public to be able to view the event, but we only wanted registered users to be able to actually register for the event and fill out the form. So we could do this, and that's why we have these two settings, so it's pretty flexible. We want to publish it. We'll go ahead and show the attendees list. We'll allow group registration. We'll show you what that is in the front end It'll, in another tutorial. Force group registration. This basically is going to force the group registration whether they check mark the box or not in the front end. Now here's where you'll choose the location and the category. So we got those. Next is the registration tab. And we'll do the notify emails. Basically, this email is your event organizers. If you want to list a bunch of different event organizers of this particular event, every time someone registers, it will email them and let them know that someone has registered. And this is comma separated. So if you wanted to do two different ones, or three or four, it doesn't matter.
you would separate them like that. Here's where your reminder settings are. I want to notify these people three days before the event. So it will automatically send out an email reminding them. And this information is based on your email templates. Select the registration form. That's the one we created before. Okay, event registration starts. For demo purposes, I'm going to choose yesterday's date. And we'll do same time formatting, 8 a.m. And for registration close, I want to close it. Let's see. We'll do Wednesday the 7th, two days before the event. And then we'll do 2300, which is 11 p.m. for the registration closing time. So basically, this, these settings tell everybody that they can register to the event between this date and that date. And if it's outside of that date, you'll see a notice at the top of the event details page on the front end. And that will let everybody know when they are able to register. Recurring events. This is not really a recurring event, but if we really wanted to make it a recurring event, we have lots of different settings here. Oops. Daily, you can choose weekly, monthly. You can choose a specific weekday. So if you want to have it on the third Monday of every month, you can also set a limit date. And this is pretty cool. You can actually select certain dates that you want this to actually occur on. And then you click Add. And then so you can have custom dates here. OK. So we're going to remove those and choose nothing. You can set your metadata here, and then here's your event tickets. I'll show you about that in another video because you don't have to create event tickets if you're just having a free event. So this is, for now, we're just going to set this up as a free event, and you just save and close, and your event is now created, and you can view it from the front end. And we'll talk about linking to the front end in another video. Thanks.